Hello, and welcome to Zombie Spiders and Creepers. Oh my! Season 1, Episode 11. And in this episode, I'll, I have to finish my uh, underground farm. <laughs> and, uh, well, harvesting pumpkins. Uh oh. Wow, that was quite a long distance for those pumpkins to have traveled. Ooh. Uh, I did just install the latest update or snapshot. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> as I just said, I just got done recording my latest Drills and Gears episode uh, 4, actually. I made a mistake there. Um, it's been about a month since I've actually played Minecraft or really any games for beyond, well, actually Call of Duty a little bit, um, <laughs> uh, but I haven't really gotten a chance because I've been ultra busy with just all kinds of different things going on. I've been working on uh, getting a different vehicle going um, because my, pr well, now previous vehicle is, well, was quite unsafe. So now i got a vehicle that works and everything, so... Let's have a look-see at this, uh, farm that I was working on. Yeah, wow. I've got quite a bit to do here, and in fact, I'm going to hop over into a testing world and show you what the final product is basically going to look like. Um, some of the circuitry is going to change, but for the most part, we've got a setup that'll be similar to this. In fact, uh, let me just do one thing here while I'm thinking about it. I forgot I can... Uh oh. Um, hello. This could be one of those issues that has come from the latest snapshot. Unless they changed the recipe for chests. You know what? I have quite a bit of checking up to do, so I'll be right back. Okay, after some testing in a testing world, I have determined that jungle blocks have lost their crafting recipe functions. So, it doesn't matter what I try to craft out of them, the jungle wood planks will not craft anything. This is a problem, seeing as how most of my wood supply comes from jungle trees. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and get some oak wood, because oak trees seem to still have their crafting functions, and that will get me going for crafting. Now let me uh, actually find some trees that are not jungle wood trees and aren't my nice big giant tree over there that I like to keep. So I'll be back after I get some wood. Alrighty, now I have some oak wood here and oh, wow, I still have 34 experience too. I should probably get to work on that. Uh, yeah. Um, that's one of the things I was working on, wasn't it? Was uh, was a uh, blah blah blah, blah. <laughs> a uh, enchanting room, wasn't it? Wow, so many projects to complete. So many complete. There, so many projects to complete, and so little time. So let me uh, get back down here. Ah! All right, I'll be right back. And now the music is actually background music. All right, so oak still has its crafting abilities. See that? Jungle wood? No. Hi. Okay. So, what I was actually working on. Boom. So, let me uh log out of this world and go into one of my testing worlds to show you what I had in mind. Alright, here we are in a testing world, you know, typical different types of things to test. Um, I've been testing out quite a few different things in this world. Um, one of them being the function of the carts not wanting to travel like they're supposed to. Yeah, 
nice work there. Okay, um, <laughs> that might actually cause some problems because it's not even going from a flat world, flat spot now, which could cause all kinds of problems. So, this should be getting no power. Okay, good. Let me craft this together now. Okay, so somewhere along here, I have to... There we go. So that means my minecart left, and... You know what? Let me uh, change game mode here. <laughs> There we go. So basically what's going to be working here is I have what's eventually going to be my storage center. Okay? And let me actually grab some of these items. Boom. 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 So that's all empty. Okay. Whoopee. So if I put some in here, you'll notice they'll quickly go into here. But as soon as this is powered, not getting any power, which is a good thing. Uh, it's not releasing its contents, which is very good. Let's just fill it all up. There we go. So basically, as long as this is sending a signal, this is going to hold a cart here. Okay? It's not going to allow that track that I just destroyed to have power. <sighs> Okay, so, and it's all because of the magic of this little circuit here, which is overly complex and complicated and, yeah. So basically, when I push this button, notice I had to use a piston to do this, instead of a nice powered rail, which would be nice, it starts dumping the contents into the minecart. Okay, so... What's going to happen here is the minecart is going to get full. This is phase one of my farming system. It's actually going to be different by the time it gets to the... Hey, cool. They kind of fixed the water flow issues. Good. Um, it's going to kind of be changed up a little bit to make it a little bit nicer shall we say. And yeah, so basically once that gets filled, all I have to do is boom, step on this pressure plate which is going to be changed over to actually the button push. The original button push is going to also activate that end of the circuit as well. So what's going to happen is if there is nothing in the hopper to fill the minecart with, as soon as the minecart gets down here, it's going to return <laughs> back up to the starting position so you'll be able to tell immediately if nothing was harvestable. Well, you know, you'll be able to tell immediately if there were problems. Um, there's actually going to be a little bit of a timer put in in between that button press and this side of the circuit from here to make it so that there's a little bit of a length of time that it takes before it'll actually activate that end of the toggle. So this has been this little bit of circuit and I'll meet you back in the zombie spiders and creepers world. Alrighty. So here we are again and um, basically what I'm going to be working on here is tunneling out this area a little bit to allow for the minecart to be traveling through along here like it can right now. So I don't have to worry about that part. I have to actually set up all my tracks and set up a piston up there, which I don't have. So let me get to work crafting some of these items up that I do need. So I'm going to need an iron ingot. And I don't need so much cobblestone on me right now. I'm not going to need any bone meal because bone meal has been nerfed so heavily. Oh, well, it was at one time nerfed. I don't know if it's still nerfed as badly as it had been, but no. Um, yeah. 
So, uh, piston. Piston, 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 piston. We'll see if Junglewood will allow for being in pistons at least. Because I'm probably going to need a couple of those at some point. Nope. Okay. That's going to be fun. Alright. So. Go. Piston. There we go. There's my piston. Um, how am I going to do this? Oh, I put this in the wrong spot. Yeah. <laughs> and it flew the other way. Alright, well, first of all, I do want it facing me, so... Plop! There we go. Alright, so, what am I going to need? I'm going to need another one of those chests. Holy crap, I'm going to run out of wood very quickly here. Okay, I am also going to need pretty much all that iron. Um, let's see here. Chest. Dot, 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 dot. And that gets me a hopper. Which is good, because I need to go up. Up and shift click. There we go. There we goes. There's that. Alrighty, now that I have some rails going, let's uh, get this figured out here, shall we? Now, for pretty much all of this, I'm going to want powered rails through here because of all this climbing right up till this one has to be non-powered to allow the turn properly or not. Okay, good to know. Don't want to have an incline right after a turn. Okay, hmm, that could be a problem. Okay, all right. That's okay. We'll just do a little bit of creative recreating here. Shall we? Boom. There we go. Okay, so then the rest of these should be fine till we get to here. There we go. And we have rails. Yay, our rails are done. Okay, so let me light this up a bit better. Okay, so I'm in need of another hopper. Well, two hoppers, as you can remember. That was two hoppers there. One here, and then another one here. So... Go and make two more hoppers and a chest cart. And get rid of all this junk. Okay, two hoppers, chest cart. Yeah, two hoppers and a chest cart. So I need three chests. Two hoppers. Okay. Let's get down here. Place him there. Oof. Place him like. Okay, good to know.
Alrighty. Gonna be difficult. There we go. And chest cart. There we go. So, that will all work like that. Alrighty. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. So, obviously, fields are going to be at this level. <laughs> yeah. Alright. That'll work, though. Because water flowing through here. Yeah. Okay. Time to figure this out, and I'll be right back. Alrighty. This is my finished layout, I do believe. So, this should in theory work for everything. Um, yeah, uh, I've got to do a little bit of testing on a few different things here. And, but other than that, I like this. I'm doing three wide field plants here. And I'm going to try it so that this layer here can also provide crops, uh, you know, except for that block it's going to be covered to make my trenches here. So, um, oh good, I got a bucket. Just one. So, I had to put a little bit of a stair there, and I'm going to make that look nicer again at some point. <laughs> Let me uh, go find some water. I think there was some off this way. Yes, there was. So, let me make a infinite water source, actually. I should have one around here anyways. Which I probably already do, actually, but... Well, we'll make another one, just in case. Oops. That should be good. I really have to make more stairs. Yes, I do. Stairs are important. There we go. All right, so. That covers the whole field. So, we should be good there. Now, I'm going to have to make, I think, three pistons for each of these. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pistons all together. So, woohoo! And yeah, I am out of wood. So uh, I'll be back with you after I do some creative farming. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. And we've got plenty of wood there. Okay, so pistons. And I said, how many? Nine? Whew. Nine. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whew. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. 
resources. Okay. So, basically, the way this is going to work is the pistons are going to be along here, like that. Now, oh, this is going to be fun. I think I'm going to have to do this. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Okay, so along here. Like that. Okay. And here. And the rain has started. Go. Pistons. Let me pull up dirt so I can patch my holes. There we go. Light above because this is probably going to knock off torches, but hey. Alrighty. Let's have a look and see at the back. Yeah. Alright, let's pull out some cobble. Ah. Okay. So, let's see here. This is going to be fun wiring. Okay, so actually, I want that to be like that. Then I need to make a box. Like so. I need to make each of these an infinite water source. Haha! -ha. Which means I might just want to make another bucket. But that's my only 15 iron ingots, and I'm probably going to need more iron at some point in time here soon. So. You know what? Before I go about making this an infinite water source, let me do some simple wiring on these pistons, shall we? I think we shall. Because it's going to quickly get to a point where I'm going to want to turn these pistons on and off. So. So I'll be right back. And this is why we test. Just too short. Alright, so about here, let's just say, is going to be a repeater. And I'm sure most everyone knows how to make a repeater, but just in case, let's see if I can remember, huh? <laughs> uh, because it's always fun to see if I can remember how to do things. Isn't it? So, we need a couple of redstone torches. We're gonna need a lot more than that, but hey, this is just for quickness. Uh, I think redstone dust. I think it's this. Hey, I remembered. Awesome. Okay. And, yeah, like I said, this is mostly a temporary circuit, anyways. But parts of this are going to be the final thing. As I was saying, this is mostly just a temporary circuit, mostly for while I do stuff like this. Because that'll get annoying 
having water popping out at me all the time. You know, and for testing circuit, yeah, testing purposes. So I should have probably put this water source block a lot closer. Hello, water. There. Not there. There. Much better. Okay. And in fact, let's uh, test out my trenches. Whoa! My trenches. There we go. So let's just make certain that this all works. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. So, now I just have to do this all the way across. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna use up three iron to make another bucket. That way I can have this done much faster. So. Uh. <laughs> Might as well make this piece here too. Yeah, this one's gonna be uh, funky. Ooh, I'm probably gonna have to rethink about how I'm gonna enter this room to be able to plant my crops. In fact, my door is probably gonna be on the other end of this, so that's okay. For right now, let's just place it like that. Okay. We'll see how the water interferes with tracks, too. Okay. Woo! <laughs> Fun! Water there, and uh, water there. There we go. Turn that into an infinite source. Like that. And we're good. Ooh. Uh, let's uh, place something there. That'll work. Okay. So. Woo! Yay! Okay, <laughs> that is kind of a challenge. Ah, there we go. There's all my water sources. So this farm's actually coming along quite nicely here. Next is this water run. Ooh. Yeah, this is going to be a bit of a problem. Huh. Alright, let's put this like this. And put this like this. This isn't going to work like that. Oh, that's not water up there. Oh, good. Alright. This is why it helps to rethink, to think about your plans before you start laying down tracks. laying down tracks and then having to relay them down again. Oh, 
forgot about that. We'll just put our tracks here instead. And then, boom. Like that. That should kind of work. We'll do that. Okay. That's convoluted of a track layout as that is, that should do the job nicely. I wonder, can tracks go on top of pistons? Okay. Um, more problems. And when relaying out tracks, it helps to consider the full extent of how much you might have to move your tracks before you start laying down tracks again. Because, yeah, I didn't. Smooth stone. Okay, so... Here somewhere. There we go. Alright, so this is going to be water source there. Okay. Piston here. In fact, let me go make said piston for this layout to work properly. So glad I didn't put in my glass blocks yet. Okay, piston. There. Okay, I'll figure out power system for that piston. Here in just a second. In place of that, let's place a lever. Like that. Okay. Let's place water source. And to make it nice and neat and cool looking, we'll place a glass block. Okay. Boom. There we go. So, now we have a piston. That's going to probably go like that and tear up all my track. to the track. Like that, possibly. Okay. And yet again, the relaying of track and spaces for track because I didn't fully consider how much I'd have to move. Luckily, I think this is my last time of having to lay track. Torch. I think, I think, I think. Okay, so, basically, I'm gonna want this to move like that. Okay. These can actually be powered rails. Here. Up to 
fill this one, which has to be non-powered. And this one, which has to be non-powered. There we go. That should make it all the way. I'm going to make this one and this one powered. There we go. And place a lever here, because they're much cheaper than torches. <laughs> and here. There we go. And here. There we go. And that should prevent that water from interfering with any track. And it doesn't go nearly far enough. another one of these can setups right here it would take it far enough so we just do that okay and actually pretty shortly here I'm going to be ending off this episode ow so actually, right after I finish up with this water source block and piston setup, I'm going to end off this episode. So let me make another quick piston. Because I didn't have nearly enough of these ready. Ah. my time limit is running out. So, let's make this guy simple. Oops. That. Okay. And water source. And dirt. Hmm. Yeah, I forgot about that. Ooh. <laughs> this is going to be complicated. Alright, well, um, in the meantime, let me just say, thank you for watching, have a fun time, and have a nice day. This has been Farsight Jake, with zombies, spiders, and creepers. Oh my!